This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get a significant discount at saltstrong.com skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. Okay, we're getting a real early start here. It's uh, just after sunrise, and we're just rounding the point, heading for the ocean, and uh, going to do some ocean fluking. And um, with Doc on his boat, and uh, yeah, the, the fishing's been uh, kind of slow, but uh, we're going to see what we can do. We've got a nice day ahead. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. All right, we're just about the first boats out here, and um, yeah, I've got some spots on my phone, and uh, that's where we've motored to. We're in about 55 feet of water, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. Oh, there we go. Oh, just let me know if you want the net. It's a keeper. Yes, okay. This is okay. This is not bad. Nice. There you go. There you go. Ho ho ho. Way to, go. Way to, start, Way to start the day. The day. Wow. Let's get a, now please get a mark on that. Yeah. You know what? I'll give you the net. Let me, let me mark. Yeah, multiple times the surprise in my voice there. It's yeah, we're right on the first drift and already a good one. Uh, the last couple of trips have been tough, so uh, yeah, good to get one early. Took me all half a freaking day to get one like this last trip. All right, and the nice thing is that we know we're on a few fish at least. You know what? The right hook, really sharp, hard hook set, and you're going to see as I unhook these fish, yeah, the, these hooks are buried, so uh, it's important or else they shake off. So did you enjoy, you enjoyed Florida this year? Oh my goodness, yeah. Um, I'll tell you, I can't believe like in those shallow waters what's under there. Yeah, yeah. I know, I, I, big that freaking sharks, yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, good one. Oh, hey, no job. Where'd it go? All right, still on the first drift here. That was the very next drop after that uh, first fish. Probably not as big, but still, I uh -huh. think probably still a keeper for sure. Oh, nice one, John. Nice one. Wow, bucktail again. Bucktail. I would throw a mark on that too. Yeah, right in the straight line. I'm not drifting fast. All right, so two good keepers on the first drift, and Doc had a short uh, prior to those keepers. So, yeah, we thought we were really on them, and then we must have stayed about another hour. Um, just couldn't do it. So uh, we decided to make a move out farther and uh, got the phone out again uh, with some more spots, and we're going to head out to about uh, 70 feet of water. And that's a Navionics app uh, that I use on the phone, and it works quite well. There. And to be clear, Doc's a very good fisherman who knows these waters well, but he just, uh, this is his first time out here this season, and it's my third trip out. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, working off of some of the spots that we've been to this year. Yeah, he's spinning and spinning. Oh, man, I can't believe it. So in the course of this trip, I will foul hook 10 fish. 
that's amazing. It just shows they're just not really being what aggressive. I think what happens is they're um, basically almost toying with that top dropper, and then because y you fill bites and you set the hook, and you know I snag them with the bucktail. That, that's what happened all ten times. But I've never snagged that many in one trip. It often um, is the case when you're doing that. It's usually a slower day if they're really hitting. You're not snagging them. I mean, that's three on this drift that I foul hooked. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, this is the real thing. Okay. Oh, unless it's a, a really big sea bass. You know what? How the hell is It's a fluke. It's a fluke. Yeah. And he's just, he lightened up. I, mean, I think it's a good one. Not as big as he first felt, but... Good fish, yeah. Easy does it. Oh, come on, Doc. Here we go. Nice fish. Good. Yeah, I'll take care of that. I'm going to just mark yeah, the spot. Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. I agree, hundred, one hundred percent. Did you have them on the teaser or the bucktail? Bucktail. All three of the keepers have been on a bucktail, oh, okay. which is white and white, or glow and white. Uh, you know, you th you would think we're going to get something because certainly. They're, the ones that are here are feeding, you know, because yeah. now we've, there's another one. Uh, just got to go over a couple of bigger ones, and I'm yeah. sure they're here. All right, so we got that nice one in the deeper water, and then, boy, we might have spent another 45 minutes there, and it just wasn't happening. So we moved back onto those two marks that we made earlier. There you go. That sounds good. Just get right back. You sure did. Ha 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 ha. There you go. Hey. Yeah. All right, Doc. Just look on the monitor, see where we are. Right between the marks. Okay. He's uh, fouled. He foul hooked him. Still a keeper, isn't he? Is he a keeper? Might be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I'm going through the same thing here. Uh, yeah, I'm getting hit too. Bump, 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 bump. I foul hooked them. <laughs> well, maybe not. Maybe not. No? Huh. Yeah, I don't think I did. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so look, we Stop. stay on this then. Stay here, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We have to pour it now. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, now we don't have to share it with everybody, you know. Yeah. That's 
You know what? All, nice all four of my fish on the bucktail. On the bucktail. You want one? I, I got more of these. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch the bucktail also. If, if you I need have, them, I got plenty, obviously. And yeah, we're bucktail. right around those marks. You want bucktail to swing hook? Yeah, it's a three, yeah. We're right around the marks. It's a glow swing, three ounce. Yeah, and these are SNS John Skinner bucktails. Uh, you know, they have rattles in them, and I, I think anything that helps attract the fish, uh, you know, it's got to be a good thing. They're sure working well today. Then all these boats are freaking. Uh, right. Right, because as soon as you have two boats, right? then you have three, then you have eight, and then yeah. that's it. Then you're, have, then you're in the fleet. Well, we have seemed to have lost it. It's almost like that was the bite, you know? That was the, the change of the tide bite, yeah. Yeah, right. All those shorts. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy, this is... What do you got there? This is something good. Oh, I just got hit. Yeah, this is a good fluke. I just got hit, too. I'm gonna make a little mark on that. Mark. Oh, this is a good one, Doc. Yeah, well, hey, that's it's a good a one. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. He, uh, he fought hard yeah, good in the eating. beginning. Yeah. I got a little short on mine. Alright, All right. so I yeah. guess that's yeah. six yeah. keepers. Alright, in addition to the better fish that you're seeing, we are catching a lot of shorts. We had at least 30 shorts on this trip. A lot of them were around 18 inches. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, that's a good sign for things to come because we usually don't get that many small fish out here. Hey, oh, baby. Uh, and I'm warning you now, Doc, if we get one more keeper, we'll stay out here till dark to get that eighth one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Way to go. Told you. It's gonna be your eight plus. Told you all along. Can't see the freaking glare. There we go. Nice one. Swing him over. Swing him over. Nice. Nice fish. All right, all right. Get a mark on that. Yeah. Good call. Look at that. Oh, good. Yeah. Nice. Nice hit. It's a nice hit. Felt good to get that. Yeah, I bet. I know. It's a nice hook set. It all looked good. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's supposed to. All right, and that keeper that Doc just got is the first one we've had in about two hours. And we moved out from that 55 spot out to like 70. Then we were out to 83, you know, there's spots where we've caught fish before, and now we've just moved back into that 70 spot, and we've decided we're going to take uh, one more drift, so Doc's got that fish, and boy, we'd like to get that eighth keeper and, and get the limit, uh, because it's early in the season, and we eat these fish, uh, we would like some filet, so uh, looking for that limit fish, and uh, it looks like I'm going to get it right here. Net. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I got a sea bass and a f***ing snag fluke. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? I just like it. Yeah. 
Well, it sure felt like a keeper. I mean, I had the weight, I had the head shakes, but uh, it wasn't to be. And we stayed out about another 45 minutes, and uh, it just died completely. We never did get that eighth keeper. And um, in fact, the last two drifts, I don't even think we had a short. So, uh, but all in all, a good trip. It looks like uh, you know things are definitely picking up, and hopefully, we're in for a good summer. I thank Doc for getting me out and you guys for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe.